greetings, infinite blessings, and welcome to this parts integration guided meditation. Every time that we separate part of ourself, we become more and more lost and confused in who we are. To be able to bring integration to all parts, in all places, means that we can come back into Unity One. Unity One Consciousness, and with it, the ability to connect to the truth of who you are. My name is Cain Stromberg, and it is my honour to guide you upon this parts integration in a completion meditation. I welcome you to the mainstream meditation channel and invite you to tune in to tune out as we enjoy this beautiful adventure that we call life one breath at a time. So allow yourself to find a comfortable seated position, knowing that however you choose to seat is perfect for you. If you sit, lie, or even if you prefer to stand, the only thing which creates any of these to be wrong is your perception and belief of it. At some point in the past, when you believed yourself to be wrong, or something that you did to be wrong, you created a fragmentation, a separation, part of yourself seen as less than perfect, was placed in the darkness of your mind, and from the darkness of your mind, it would always undermine you, defy you, limit your enjoyment and the freedom of your flow through life. When integrated back into the whole, you become complete and you can actually use the qualities and virtues of that part of yourself seen as negative, realizing that that part brings with it completion of you as well as all the information that you previously did not have access to. I strongly suggest that you take this journey at least three times. So, whichever version, whichever journey that you are on now, Bring to mind one of three times, three places in time, three versions of yourself. Asking firstly the first time that you became separated from your inner child. The first time that you decided that part of yourself was not required, or that you did not want, perhaps you did not want to feel scared, you did not want to feel threatened, you did not want to feel wrong, and if in a certain situation you felt threatened, scared, or wrong, then it made perfect sense to actually take that version of yourself and hide it away. If running away from danger kept you safe as a child, it makes sense that that program was installed, that that belief holds true till today. 
if every time that you face a potential fear, you run away, it may be keeping you safe, but it is also limiting your potential for enjoyment, for expansion, for true freedom and happiness in life. As well as the inner child, being between the ages of naught and seven, or even seven to eleven. I would like to also invite you to take this journey for a second time, with the teenage self, being between the ages of eleven and about twenty, twenty-one. The first time that you felt shamed, wrong, outcast, alone, unwanted or unloved. The first time that you separated from your teenage self. Again knowing that if left outside, feeling lost, alone and scared, that anybody would then go about acting in a way that is less than positive, less than constructive, less than mindful and harmonious to the self. When accepted back in with love and appreciation, that part of yourself previously lost, feeling alone and scared, will be reunited, bringing you a feeling of liberation, excitement and inner completion. And the third journey to take, the third aspect of yourself to integrate, ensuring that we undertake this journey, utilising the law of three. The third part of yourself that requires appreciation, attention and an integration back into the whole is your adult self. The first time that you separated or that your adult self separated from the whole. So if you are asking to be shown the first time that you separated your inner child, your teenage self, or your adult self, go ahead and sit comfortably, ensuring that this time and space will be uninterrupted, that you are dedicating this journey to you, for you, to be taken by you and integrated into you. This is your life. This is your time. And all you ever need to do is be you. There's nobody else that is like you. There's nobody else that can be you and you are perfect, just as you are. So setting your intention and allowing for all the information that is required to be accessible to be seen easily and effortlessly, to be received with gratitude and excitement, and to be integrated with a feeling of inner completion and liberation. Go ahead and just spend a few moments focusing upon the breath, 
focusing as it enters and exits, as your chest and your abdomen rise and fall, as you go ahead and open up, opening your mind to the experience, the journey, the adventure that you will undertake, to discover all parts of yourself lost and fragmented and integrate them back into the whole. To start with, let us focus for a moment upon the breath, as it enters and exits, enters and exits. And I'd like to invite you to join me in some box breathing, as we breathe in through the nose for the count of four, holding at the top of the breath for four, before exhaling through the mouth for the count of four, and holding on the bottom of the breath for four, before surrendering and releasing to allow the inhale to take place once again, breathing in for four, holding for four, Exhaling everything and anything which no longer serves you for the count of four and holding on that exhale for four. and exhale. With each breath in, with each sound of my voice, and with every beat of the music, go ahead and enter into an even deeper and more relaxed state than ever before. As you open up to be able to experience that which has never been experienced. With a full acceptance of all that is, was, or ever shall be, this, you beautiful, beloved soul, this is what shall set you free. And as you go ahead and enter into the most deep and relaxed state that you have ever experienced, listening to the sound of my voice, and noticing as the breath continues to enter and exit. I would like to ask that you allow for a conscious awareness of the situation, of the adventure, of the experience. Most letting go of control, surrendering to a will that is uncomprehendable, surrendering to the divine. And 
and this journey is one that will be taken inwardly. Journeying back in time. So bring to mind whatever part it is that you wish to discover and integrate, starting with the youngest version and working your way up. Go ahead now and ask, ask your unconscious, your subconscious mind. When was the first time that I became separate from the whole? When was the first time that I became separate from the whole? Just allow for yourself to journey back in time, back to the first time that you became separated, fragmented, when you lost connection to the feeling of completion. you look all the way back to that moment in time. I would like for you to ask to be shown all the information required to allow yourself to actually transcend that feeling of separation. And as you float back to that moment in time, go ahead and take a moment just to look down upon yourself, that previous version of yourself, experiencing everything that you are experiencing, so you can see everything that you saw, feel everything that you felt, and hear everything that is all around you as well as that taking place within you. And from this higher perspective, it's easy to see the reason why you would have separated part of yourself from the whole. That if you were told that who you were or part of who you are was wrong, that you would have taken that part, placed it into a box and hidden it away in the darkness. With that part of yourself no longer accessible, you can return to being carefree, confident, and able. Taking a moment just to fully acknowledge what it is that is taking place. Knowing that this experience, this journey, is happening for you, created by you, just as life is happening for you, created by you.
and just like watching a TV show. Go ahead and allow for this situation, for the experience to just run its course as you view it, as you look down upon it with interest, with appreciation and with a desire to learn and to grow from this experience. To bring completion and unity to the self. Unity One Consciousness Christ Consciousness Know that you are safe. Know that you are secure. And that you are viewing this experience just like a program, a show on the TV. You can pause it, rewind it, or fast forward it any time you desire. And by actually bringing into awareness all of the upliftment and growth that this program, that this show provides you. It means that you can move forward in life, being complete within yourself, through the integration and inner completion of yourself. So go ahead now and ask to receive all of the information required so that you can fully and completely transcend this feeling of separation, feeling of incompletion, knowing that you are complete and that you are perfect just as you are. Whatever information it is that you require, go ahead and receive all of this easily and effortlessly now. And looking down upon the event, go ahead and actually start to float, travel, journey, all way down, deeper down still, all the way down into that event, and as you look lovingly gazing into the eyes of your younger self, and as your younger self looks up with amazement and wonderment knowing that this is you, a future you, a confident, self-actualized, successful, a version of you that you are creating and moving towards through all of your life's experiences. And if you find a moment in time to actually send and shine your appreciation upon yourself, go ahead and do so now. Thank your younger self for everything that you experienced, for everything that you achieved, accomplished, or were part of. knowing that a journey is made up of each and every step, 
And without this situation, this experience that you are viewing now, you would not be the person that you are. And thinking to all of those wonderful and amazing qualities about yourself and about your life, the connection that you have to the loved ones around you, the connection that you have to the love with inside you. Whatever qualities and virtues, kind, generous, confident, successful, compassionate, loving, caring, nurturing, adventurous, a leader, a beacon of inspiration. If you go ahead and actually reply, reply to that version of yourself as it looks up, lovingly gazing into your eyes. I appreciate you. I thank you, and I accept you with gratitude and love. I embrace you. I embrace you. I embrace you. And as you go ahead and allow, as that younger version of yourself begins to actually draw towards you, and you towards yourself, like two magnets being attracted to one another, two parts of a jigsaw that complete each other. Go ahead now and actually open your arms, open your mind and open your heart and accept with appreciation and gratitude for all of the experiences thus far, accept into yourself that version of yourself that was previously lost, alone, separated and fragmented bringing a full and complete connection to yourself, to your higher self. And as you watch energetically as that younger version of yourself begins to actually melt into you, as you feel a surge of energy, of excitement, a feeling of liberation, of joy, passion, and a newfound sense of adventure. knowing that the journey that has brought you to this moment in time has been perfect in leading you to this moment in time. And your journey onwards, forwards, will be one of true excitement and liberation in all ways, shapes, and sizes. And I'd like for you just to take a moment just to allow for this new frequency of self to be fully and completely absorbed, accepted and integrated. like into a bubble of energy, 
having another larger bubble, absorb it and integrate it within to itself. It is still the same bubble, it is still the same self and it has access to far more information and energy than before. However this energy wishes to be used and experienced is up to the person whose journey it is to take. And having fully and completely integrated that version of yourself that was previously lost and fragmented, left alone in the darkness, I would like for you to go ahead and actually look back to now, back to this moment in time, all the way back to now. When you're ready, just go ahead and actually begin to journey, to travel, to float all the way back to now. Floating with a new sense of weightlessness, a feeling of unlimited potential. being free to experience, as well as create, a life of true happiness in all ways. you begin to actually focus back upon your breath, and back upon your physical body, having travelled all the way back from the past, integrated, an awareness that there is more adventures to be experienced, and all you need do is be open to the experience. As you look down upon yourself sat in your room, go ahead now, only if you are ready to fully and completely integrate that previous version of yourself back in completion into yourself, gaining access to all the information, all the wisdom, all the experiential knowledge that that version of yourself houses within it, houses within you, having integrated that part of you back into the self, back into unity, unity one consciousness. Congratulations and welcome. Welcome to the rest of your life. Welcome to the real you. A more expansive, connected and complete version of yourself. Allow for the integration to continue to take place over the next few days. Ensuring that you stay revitalized, well rested drinking lots of fluids, washing out 
flushing, cleansing your physical and energetic self. Exercise. When you are ready, I invite you to take this journey once again. In whatever version of yourself, whatever version of the journey that is next required to bring that full and complete integration and with it hmm, complete liberation. Go ahead now and fully and completely ground yourself back into your physical body knowing that you are an energetic being, a being of gold and white light housed and contained in this physical avatar body, here to experience separation, here to experience yourself. Set your intentions for the rest of the day, the rest of this week, this month, this year, this life. Holding a vision of a future version of yourself that you know yourself capable of achieving, of experiencing, of being. And go ahead and walk, skip, joyfully, playfully, majestically, all the way down the path that leads you towards that future version of yourself, knowing that you have access to all the information that you could ever require, and that the more that you journey inwards, to face that which lies and resides within, the more you would experience pleasure, enjoyment and freedom in the outward journey. Thank you for taking the time, making the space in time to take this journey with me. I thank you humbly and eternally for everything that you do and for simply being you. I leave you feeling energized, revitalized, grounded, safe, secure, complete with a new sense of purpose and an awareness of how to actually journey towards that vision, that creation of your future self. Your future self that exists now, within yourself now. Until next time, and sending you all of my love, all universal and unconditional blessings, appreciation and acceptance of who you are in completion. I look forward to taking another inward journey with you very soon. Until that moment in time, know that it is always divine. You are the divine embodied, and you are perfect, just as you are. Love, light, and infinite blessings. Nam
Namaste.